The one finance tip that I have for people is do not overbuy insurance. Now, insurance is important, but don't overspend on it. And you can actually get away with spending very little if you buy the right kind of coverage. This is Planner B Chats, where we feature Singapore's finance pros. Today, we have Seth of Satisfy.com with us. Hi, this is Seth from Satisfy.com. I write about personal finance, such as credit cards, insurance, investments, and great deals. What were your early financial goals? I can't really recall when I got really interested in personal finance, but I think uh, back in my NS days when I was as young as 18, 19, I was really very frugal and watching how much I spend each day. So I think that was when it first started. And then uh, after I left NS and I joined the insurance company at the age of 21, I think that was when it became a job and profession for me. Have your financial goals changed today? I'm quite happy to have finally bought my apartment a couple of years ago. So now my personal goal has changed from buying an apartment to retiring early. And I hope to retire by age 40, maybe 45, to give myself some room uh, to save more. What's your best investment to date? Now, I'm quite a boring and risk-averse investor, so my best investment to date was the S&P 500, which I purchased sometime in March 2020 when markets corrected and the price went down by a lot. I managed to put in about $10,000. Uh, that was fresh off my apartment buying, so I didn't really have much cash left. So I was happy that I put in as much as 10 k in. Uh, now it's doing quite well, I think about 50% on the upside. What's your worst investment so far? My worst investment so far, I'm embarrassed to say, was during the whole GameStop hype where everybody was trying to squeeze the shots. I got in a bit too late and I quickly sold when I saw the price plummeting. Uh, within that less than 30 minutes, I actually made about $200 loss. Not a lot of money, but it was still a reminder that I shouldn't get caught up in the hype. Do you have insurance? I have my shoe plan, of course, to cover for hospitalization expenses and a term policy that I bought myself, as well as some whole life policies that I inherited from my mom. Now, I definitely bought insurance first and I suggest everyone to do so because there's no amount of money you can invest now that will prepare you for a sudden hospitalization bill tomorrow, right? And you really need to get your defenses in order before you start to invest. It's like filling up a bucket full of holes. If there are a lot of holes there, no matter how much water you put in, the holes will eventually drain all your water. So plug the holes first with insurance and then fill up the bucket with water. How have you made insurance work for you? Uh, people who read my content and watch my videos will know that I'm a term person. I don't like whole life policies because they're expensive and they don't give you a whole lot of coverage when you are young and need the coverage the most. And towards the end of the tenure, they tend to use your savings to cover you. So I'm a term guy. What's a finance tip you would like to share with everyone? The one finance tip that I have for people is do not overbuy insurance. Now, insurance is important, but don't overspend on it. And you can actually get away with spending very little if you buy the right kind of coverage. 